You wake up as the sunlight was directly hitting on your face. You turn the right side to hug your husband, but found the side empty. This made you to open your eyes and you found him sitting on the couch, typing something on laptop. B. He was Percy lying on the bed on which he shows his funny smile, made your day bright. Good morning, princess. Why did you wake up early? It's vegan? Yes, we heard, but I have to do the project, that's why. Oh, is it a project that you were talking about yesterday? He said while sitting straight and he answered while fixing his gaze on laptop. Yeah, it is. Hmm, do you have your breakfast? No. Why? Why didn't you wake me up to make your breakfast? Because I didn't want to disturb my beautiful wife's beautiful sleep. He said giving a glance on you and again on his laptop as he smiled on his word and got up from the bed. I'm going to make breakfast. What do you want to eat? Anything you cook. Okay, you were about to leave, but suddenly you felt a grip on your hands as you turned to see your husband smirking. Within a second, he pulled you towards him, making you sit on his lap. Yeah, what happened? Aren't you forgetting something, baby? What? You raised your eyebrows in confusion, then he leaned closer to your ear and whispered, My money kiss. Oh, that's it? You built a sigh of relief and said, but then the smirk appeared on his face. So, do you want something more, baby girl? He whispered seductively and bite your earlobe, on which you giggled. Yeah, stop it. I have to make the breakfast. Oh, uh, okay. Give me my kiss first, he said and make a cute pout. After giving him the quick kiss, he left from there. After having the breakfast, you got fresh and now you're sitting on the couch while scrolling down in your phone due to boredom because your husband is still working. He's such a sweet and caring husband who loves you a lot with his whole heart as you do the same. But as being a CEO of the famous company, he always has so many work to do and you're also busy the whole week because of your work. But reach at home before evening is easy for you, but not for your hubby. But still he tries his best to manage his time to spend with his beautiful wife. And you both decided that every weekend, you both spend the whole day together, happily, romantically, joyfully, just together, without any other interruption. But today he has to complete his very important project. And he is in the home office, busy in doing the project. That's why you're getting bored here. Then you decided to check on him. Cookie, how much work is left? There is still a lot, honey. It will probably take few hours. What? Few hours? Hmm. I'm getting bored. You made a sad pout and sit on the couch there. Watch movie or drama something? Um, no. I watch it every day. Now I'm gonna try something different. Hmm, let me think. After thinking few minutes, you suddenly shout, which made Jungkook flinch. Yeah! What happened? How could I forget that? I'm so stupid. While saying this, he got up from the couch and went towards the bookshelf here beside Jungle was completely confused on your action. After a few minutes, you came back holding a book in your hands. What was that? Huh? Actually, I have to read this book from a few days, but I forgot, so I just remembered. Will you read the book? Yeah, why? Nothing, but you don't like reading books? No, I like the only interesting one, and this one is really interesting. How do you know? 
and by the way where did this book come from i never saw this in the shelf yes actually a few days ago when i visited to Ani's house she was reading this book i learned a little bit from it and i found this book very interesting so i borrowed it from her to read oh good i smiled excitedly and sat myself on the couch and I started reading the book the book is full of love and romance it's about a man who obsessed with 69 but an innocent girl changed his obsession by making him fall for her the story is not that long so i decided to complete it today before the evening after a few hours i finished almost all of the chapters except the last one which is i'm reading now even though i was smiling like an idiot when any romantic part came but now i'm completely lost in that as i know that this part will gonna be spicy one my lips curved into smile when i read the male throw the female lead on the bed and hover on her start giving her rat kisses on the knees leaving dark hickeys on it he gulped gripped the cushion tightly as he start getting nervous without noticing that your husband sitting beside you noticing your every action your name be he exclaimed, but you didn't notice which made Jungle confused as he put his one hand on your shoulder made you flinch. You immediately looked at him. He touched your cheeks and asked, What happened, princess? Why your cheeks are burning as hell? Uh, n- nothing. Why are you nervous? Uh, I'm not. Why would I? By the way, which type of book you're reading? Why do you want to know about it? Um, because you were acting weird. Is there something? He smirked on the word something. He cheaply cut his word and lied. What do you mean by something? It's just a mystery book. Is that so? He raised his eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. What else do you think? Then why weren't you listening to me? Um, be- because I was reading an interesting part. So, yeah. Hmm, okay, I believe you. He said those words 99 words are not meant by them. Then he hesitantly smiled and got up and sat on another couch. Comfortably after opening the book, he start reading again from the kissing part to make it more interesting. On the other hand, Jungle was now 100% sure that there is something. He smirked, got up from the couch where you were sitting before. While tiptoeing, he reached near the couch where you were sitting now and it stand behind you but you didn't notice. He leaned forward, taking a glance on the book to see the page number. Then, immediately, he snatched the book from your grip. Your eyes popped up. You turned to see that he was smirking. You quickly got up and tried to get the book back from his hand while jumping, but he didn't let you easily. Jungkook, no, give me that. I'm really curious to know your mystery love. He winked, but the smirk don't left his lips. Suddenly, your food hit the table, causing you to fall on the couch, making Jungkook also fall on the top of you. Your breath hitched, his smear grew wider. Hmm, so let me read that interesting part. He opened the book's page and read few lines. After that, he threw the book somewhere and smirked again. The part was so interesting, as you said before. Um, shh, it's time to recreate the scenes, isn't it? Your eyes widened as crimson red sheet appeared on your face. What? Yes, baby girl. I don't want you to live in fantasy. You deserve to feel it in real. Um, but, but d- didn't you have an Im- important project to do? Yes, but I already complete. Now it's time for another most important project. Really? Then go and do your other project. He smiled instantly and said while trying to move his body from yours, but he's too strong that he didn't even move an inch. Aish, come on, get up, go and do your project. Are you sure about it? He raised his eyebrows while he quickly nodded your head as yes. Yeah, why not? As you wish, then don't complain me later. He said and leaned in. You can feel his halt breath touching your lips which driving crazy at sudden you felt his plumpy lips already landed on yours you immediately respond to his kiss after a long and passionate kiss he broke it to take some breath but 
but out of the blue, he carried you in his arms, making his way to the bedroom. Yeah, what are you doing? Just doing what you said. Is making out with me your project? Of course, babe. The most important, favorite, and needed project. He said and back on your lips, making a blush. But, but, no birds, baby girl. Now you woke up to peace. He said and kissed you again. Without breaking the kiss, he reached in the room. He locked the door with the help of his leg, threw you on the bed, and hovered over you. And smashed his lips again with the earth, but this time he kissed you hungrily and roughly. Both of her tongues fighting for her dominance, but as usual, he took a lead and bit your lower lip, let you at a soft move, made him to enter his tongue in your mouth. He was triggering each and every part of your mouth. Soon his lips moved from your swallowed lips to your jawline to the neck. He starts singing a levy, dark purple he kissed. Then he took your strips from his shoulder and starts singing a cold bone. Then he moved upward. And look into your eyes, asking for your permission. He shyly nodded as yes, and a smirk appeared on his lips again. Be ready to scream my name. Now this beast will hunt his beauty.